वेलकम बैक टिल नव वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द कन्वेंशनल पैरल प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक वे वी कैन यूज पैरल प्रोसेसिंग बाय कॉलिंग आर एफ सी एनेबल्ड फंक्शन मॉड्यूल इन न्यू टास्क इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस विद यू न्यू पैरल प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक एस पी टी ए पैरल प्रोसेसिंग फ्रेमवर्क एस पी टी ए फ्रेमवर्क इज द मोस्ट सोफेस्टिकेटेड एंड सिक्योर फ्रेमवर्क फॉर पैरल प्रोसेसिंग प्रोवाइडेड बाई एस If you want to handle multiple records and wants to update or check multiple database tables in parallel in that case using conventional way to evoke parallel processing is difficult and there can be some abap memory issues as well but in spta framework there are built in security for all the abap memory related issues so it is very secured spta framework is very easy to implement and all the parallel processing work is handled by acp so we do not need to bother how to handle it in this way it is also a very sophisticated framework to evoke spta framework we need to call function module spta_para_process_start2 this is a standard acp provided function module in this function module we have to use three subroutines to build our own parallel processing logic as you can see on this slide input to this function module is server group name number of parallel processes and three different subroutines we have to pass before rfc in rfc and after rfc to implement parallel processing logic and we also need to pass the calling program name now let's discuss more about these three subroutines let's start with before rfc callback form this subroutine is called by spta function module before calling the rfc function module or before executing the custom logic for parallel processing in this subroutine we have to create small internal tables which we are referring as a work packets for parallel processing in in rfc subroutine in rfc callback form this subroutine is called by spta function module after work packets are created in this subroutine we can use our own rfc enabled function module or custom code to process each work packets after rfc callback form we have to collect all the results or the process data in this subroutine in short what we are passing to this function module over here is three different subroutine names before rfc this subroutine is responsible for creating a packets in rfc this subroutine is responsible for executing logic in parallel in rfc calls after rfc subroutine is responsible to collect process data Okay now let's see the working of spta parallel processing framework to implement this parallel processing technique we have to give call to the function module spta para process start 2 by passing three subroutines names to it before rfc in rfc and after rfc in this slide you can see the code written in these subroutines over here remember one thing during the implementation of this parallel processing technique do not make any changes to the parameter passed to these subroutines during the execution of function module spta para process start 2 before rfc subroutine get called first before rfc subroutine is responsible for data packet creation for parallel processing as you can see here we are reading single material number from the list of material numbers and passing it to the in rfc subroutine for processing to pass data for processing in rfc call we use function module spta indx packaging code this function module will store the material number passed for processing into indx database table we pass capital x to the changing parameter of before rfc subroutine p before rfc exp hyphen start rfc 
to indicate start of processing. After the execution of before RFC subroutine, control get passed to in RFC subroutine. This subroutine is responsible for execution of custom code in parallel. In this subroutine, you can give call to your custom RFC function module or you can directly write your custom code inside this subroutine for parallel processing. Code written in this subroutine can get executed on any server instance that comes under server group we have given as an input to function module SPTA para process start to. In this subroutine, we decode a data pass from before RFC subroutine using function module SPTA index package decode. Once you get a required data to be processed, you can pass it to your custom logic for processing. Here in our scenario, once we get a material number to be processed, we pass it to the custom logic function module BAPI material get details to get the material general data for the required material number. At last, the process result we will pass it to after RFC subroutine by encoding it using function module SPTA and DX package encode. After execution of in RFC subroutine, control get transferred to after RFC subroutine. Here you can decode data that has been passed by in RFC subroutine using function module SPTA and DX package decode. And the data that we get in after RFC subroutine, we can collect it in any global internet table for further processing. After completing the execution of after RFC subroutine, control will get transferred to before RFC subroutine to check if there is any further data for the material number to be processed. If yes, then we will encode that material number and pass it to in RFC. In in RFC subroutine, we will decode that material number. Then we will fetch material general data for that material number. And then we will decode material general data that is nothing but the process output and pass it to after RFC. In after RFC, we will decode the general material data and append it into one global internal table for further processing. Again, control will get transferred back to before RFC subroutine. Now, if there is no further data to be processed, no material number to be processed, in that case, we will clear field start RFC. That indicates end of processing. Once that is done, the execution of SPTA para process start to function module will get completed. And with that, our parallel processing is completed.